when I say Russian doll, like the little Russian doll you have here, which is a doll inside of a doll inside of a doll inside of a doll inside of another doll. Okay, I'm, that'd be ridiculous. Not not that many. But anyway, they're pretty. I don't know if you ever uh, seen them. I brought I brought some home from Russia, and they they just keep getting smaller and smaller. And there's like a little bitty tiny one way in, up in there. Just when you think you're done, there's like a little tiny one. You know, perfect to choke a small child. <laughs> That's another story. Uh, anyway, so you're looking for a fractal, a pattern within a, a pattern. But I guess I, I didn't flesh it out enough to where it's not always the same pattern. So let's say you've got a nice pullback. Well, you might be looking to trade a bit of a breakout, something that I wouldn't do other than like an IPO, something that I wouldn't do in general. But within an intraday chart, when you've got the big pattern behind you, sort of the, the wind at your back, and you've got the players, pullback players, getting ready to jump on this thing as soon as it takes out the prior high, you say a little breakout happened, maybe right below the current, the prior day's high, it might be worth a shot. So I took this one recently. As I often say, I hope that everything I show, I've shown somewhere before, either in Facebook or in the trading service. By Facebook, I mean Dave Landry's Trend Traders, which I think everybody here tonight is a member. And it, the group is free, but to qualify because we're, we're, we're trend traders and we're following the general methodology with some ancillary things, you have to be a gold member or a service member. Anyway, I don't know if I mentioned this one directly or not. I'll have to go check. But this one was in my wild and crazy momentum list. Didn't I don't think it made the Landry list because it was so crazy. And it's kind of, from even from my standards, and I'm known for trading super volatile stocks, in hindsight, as I was putting my slides together, I'm like, you know, this would have just been a better trend trade, obviously, than going and trying to get a little day trade piece. But anyway, it was a big picture cup and handle. It was a relatively new issue, he tried to say. I would, I would consider it still an IPO. And as I often say, sometimes they come public and just kind of die out. They come public too early or they're priced too high or whatever. They get their act together and then they really take off. And this is kind of the case with this particular one. But I went in on this little pullback in here and I was looking to catch a bit of a rally. And an entry for a trend trade might be right around there, an aggressive entry that is. And that's what we're looking to do intraday, but we're not looking to wait for a pullback, although in this particular case, a pullback might've actually worked. We're looking for some sort of breakout intraday. Now, in this particular case, I'm looking, this is a trade I posted to Facebook in answer to a question about automated trailing stops, and I'll explain that in one second. It turned out that it was a true fractal or a true Russian doll, if you want to say that. But in hindsight, looking at this thing, you would have been better off playing a breakout a little bit earlier in the day and caught a little bit bigger move than I did. But I just so happened to see it after it kind of made its big move. And when I saw it taken off again, I figured it was worth a shot. Now, just real quick, not to get too off topic, I know, imagine that. I entered here and I put in a automated trailing stop down here for, let's see, what is that, a half a point, and then I put an IPT for half a point, and this thing triggered, and within a few minutes, I hit the IPT, and then I think after all was said and done, it was like 17 minutes for the entire trade, and I did absolutely nothing other than put it on and try not to watch every tick. So the entry was a stop entry, okay? And that triggered, and then the stop was a trailing stop, which you could do in Thinkorswim and possibly some other packages. I know you could do them in Schwab and maybe some other ones, but so those are two big brokerages. Actually, both of them are Schwab now, if you think about it. But anyway, so as this stock rallies this stop comes up behind it and i think it's important to have that ipt in there just in case it spikes up and comes right back in at least you get the ipt the ipt is a limit order okay 
So the limit order was 848, okay? And I put that in after I triggered. So it's like, okay, I got an 808 round numbers. Add 50 cents to that. What's that? 848, okay? Or maybe it's 40 cents. <laughs> anyway, oh, is that the later one? Anyway, 40 or 50 cents on this. And then it stopped out on a remainder at 827 because as this is moving higher and higher, this trailing stop is following it. And then that was it for the day. So that one little pop that I caught and that was it. And I have a bad habit sometimes, not all the times. And this is especially true if I try to reverse a position. That, that's a real Steve Ladd. Steve Ladd was this dude that went through the tunnel of fire and spoiler alert, it ended badly. It actually ended pretty good. He made it through the tunnel of fire. They light a bunch of hay bales on fire to where it's a complete, just big old burning tunnel of fire, I guess, for lack of a better word. That's what I call it, tunnel of fire. <laughs> Little tiny elbows coming out there. And uh, he made it through and he's like, all right, I'm 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 Iron Man, right? I'm a tough guy. So he completed the feat, but then he turns around, tries to go back through, and he didn't come out the other side, unfortunately. So here's another Russian doll set up. And this is this was in the Landry list, but this was too volatile once again, too wild and crazy. I mean, look at the retrace on that. It's huge. It's like a, a 50%, not that I would trade a 50% retrace, but it just looked like it had tremendous momentum, but then it also had a super deep retrace. Too crazy to put it on a trend trade, but I figured it was worthwhile as an intraday trade. So my intraday entry on this one was right there as it began to rally and let's see where that is 580 something whatever i don't think I have the actual trade in here yeah so i was looking to like a little breakout above the prior high and i was like okay i'm gonna put my order way up here and if it gets hit bam it got hit on the first bar it came back in a little bit and then it took off and I was able to use that little technique I just showed you with the limit and the trailing stop. Now, I don't know if I closed the loop on, on the Steve Ladd, but the reason I was thinking about that on a prior chart, and this one too probably, is that I took the LHDX off my watch list after I made money for the day because I know I'd be tempted to go back in. And where I get very angry at myself is if I'm trading an ETF and then I try to play both sides and I do really well on one side and then I lose all that money trying to play the other side. And you got to be careful not to revenge trade. It was tempting to short PayPal today. Or maybe I did a little. <laughs> Where's my shame bell? Oh, here it is. <laughs> I rang that mofo all day.